In this tutorial, you'll learn about basic F-A-18 Hornet operations, carrier operations, how to use the catapult, how to fly a VFR pattern, and how to make an arrested landing. As the carrier gets underway, let's go over some of the Hornet systems with the engines off. The Hornet is designed for naval operations. It has very strong landing gear to take the abuse of carrier landings and a tail hook for quick stops on a short deck. Two engines provide plenty of power. We won't be going over avionics or doing a thorough cockpit orientation here, but take a look around. Try to locate the main controls you'll use, such as the throttles, gear lever, hook lever, flap lever, and speed brake lever. The Hornet has six stages of afterburner, which ignite consecutively as you advance the throttles past maximum military power. The more afterburner you use, the more thrust is produced, and the more fuel is consumed. Don't use afterburner unless absolutely necessary, as its high fuel flow rate greatly reduces aircraft range. Before starting the engines, pull the throttle levers all the way back. The last thing we want is an out-of-control aircraft on the carrier deck. Press Control e to start the engines. Or, for the complete startup procedure, press Shift-F10 to display the kneeboard. Now that both engines are running, release the brakes and ease the throttle forward very slightly. With two high thrust engines, it doesn't take much to get moving. Taxi to one of the two catapults on the bow of the carrier. We'll fly a left-hand traffic pattern. The standard VFR pattern from a carrier is flown at 600 feet and 150 knots. But in this tutorial, we'll fly it at 2,000 feet and 200 knots to make it a little easier. When you're near a catapult, lower the launch bar with the controls in the cockpit, then press Shift-I to attach and arm the catapult be sure the brakes are off. Lower the flaps to takeoff position by pressing the F7 key once. When you're ready to go, advance the throttles to full military power. You don't need afterburner to take off using the catapult. Press shift spacebar to launch. Pull back on the stick and climb away from the carrier. Climb to 2,000 feet. Don't exceed 200 knots. Retract the gear. Raise the flaps. Turn left to a heading of 200 and enter a downwind. Three, three, left. The aircraft, the All aircraft back home. 